Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to buy stocks using Wealth Simple Trade. If you're interested in financial literacy and well-being, please subscribe below and hit the notification bell to get notified every time that I post. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go into our app store. And in here, we're gonna search for Wealth Simple trade not wealth simple wealth simple trade i'm gonna see it right here i already have this app so i'm just gonna open it but i wanted to show you guys what it looks like so that you know which one we're using i'm just gonna open it and what you should see is actually this screen that you can browse and you, you can see all the products that they have to offer click start trading and then sign up for wealth simple trade and input your information it'll bring you through a very simple to navigate process so just follow the on-screen instructions and you should be good to go it'll ask you if you want to fund your account and everything so just do that and when you're ready come back okay and once you have funded your account this is the page that you should see and as you can see i'm trading through my tfsa but you can have a personal account or an rsp with well simple trade so it depends on which one you're choosing so at the top of this, you're gonna see the amount of cash that you have deposited. And this page also gives you information on how your portfolio has performed over the past month, but you can actually change this to the past day, the past week, and so on. Towards the bottom, you're gonna see your complete portfolio, any pending orders that you may have, the money that you have available to trade, and your watch list. And I'll show you how to use this, but like I've said, let's try to buy a stock. So to do that, we're gonna click on this search button up top. And what I like about Wealth Simple Trade is that if you really just wanna see what they have to offer, you can actually just search by the categories. You see all the categories down here. ETFs is where I spend a lot of time. You can see them listed. But say you do have a company in mind and you already know what you want to trade. So let's say Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. And here we see the stock price and some statistics. Once again, you can actually see the market data based on various intervals, depending on what you're interested in seeing. So we're seeing that the stock has actually dropped a lot and we can actually just click on this picture and just kind of drag our finger along the stats. So we see that it's dropped significantly in February slash March, obviously at the beginning of COVID. So if you wanna buy this stock, you just click buy, select which account you want to buy it under. For me, it would be under my TFSA. And then here, you're gonna input how many stocks you want to buy for that particular price. Another way to do this is to click up top where it says market buy and select either limit buy or stop buy. So I select limit buy because this allows me to select the highest price per share that I'm willing to pay for this, which for me is actually $95. So let's do this. And let's say I want to buy nine stocks. So it actually tells you the estimated cost right there, $855 Canadian. So you don't have to do your own calculation. And as you may remember, there's no commission fees either. So this is actually just free trading. So let's say that I want to buy nine stocks of this. I click continue. It tells me that the market is closed because it's closed today. So I'll just say continue. doesn't really matter. At the bottom here, it says keep my order open until filled or until I cancel it. This is how I personally like to do it just because I am trading on a limit price. So by clicking this, I ensure that my order will not be canceled. It'll just stay active until that price is reached or until 90 days have passed. So I'll confirm the order. It's being sent. Order sent, limit buy done okay great and we're back on the first screen that we saw before now we can see actually you have three pending orders these are my obviously my orders but if you see here CM limit buy is up top here because we just placed that order and we can see the information so that's kind of how you can navigate it how you can buy and let's also look now if I want to sell a stock let's say I want to sell my ETFs in ZQQ so I click it, once again, same sort of information. You can see how the stock has performed over time. Click sell, 
select your TFSA, which is where I have them, and then input once again the amount that you want to sell for. And you once again have the same options for limit sell and stop limit sell. Now, I have also shown you here before that at the bottom you have a watch list. And I use this watch list to kind of keep track of the stocks that I'd be interested in purchasing and to see how they perform over time. So say you want to add a stock to that watch list. And for me, I'd like to add the Bank of Nova Scotia. So I search for it up top and then I see it here at the top left. You're going to see this I. If you click on the I, it's been added to your watch list. OK, so now when I go back to my front page, it's here. I can check the stock very easily. I can see its history, everything that I need to see. So that's pretty much it. That's how you buy and sell a stock on well simple trade. There are some other things that you can do here. Like I have said, you can switch your accounts. You can also fund your accounts. To do this, I simply click this person icon up top and then click on funding and add funds and it'll ask you where you want to add your funds. Let's say I want to add it to my TFSA and continue. I can input the amount that I want deposited and then it brings you through a menu to select the bank and to input your information to deposit this money. It's very simple and very intuitive. To be honest, my favorite feature of all of this is where I click on the search button. I can see all the categories like I've mentioned before, and it's an easy way for me to kind of explore different stocks that I may have not considered before. For example, if you want to click on healthcare, you can see all the different stocks that are trading within the healthcare branch, and you can tell which market they're trading on by looking just under their name. So Canopy Growth Corporation, the symbol is weed and it's trading on the TSX. You can see it on the left over there. And you can also tell what currency you would need to buy this by looking on the right. $21.15 CAD, so Canadian dollars, compared to, let's look at Johnson & Johnson, and it costs 152.76 USD. So keep that in mind. Remember that I mentioned in a previous video the fact that you cannot hold USD on Wealth Simple Trade, which means that if you do end up buying one of these stocks that is trading in USD, you will have to pay a conversion fee, and the conversion fee is 1.5% per trade, so about 3% in total when you buy and sell that stock. And this is on top of the actual foreign exchange fee itself. So very simple, very intuitive. I highly recommend using Wealth Simple Trade if you're trading Canadian stocks or Canadian ETFs. Okay, so that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite day of the week is to buy and sell stocks. Bye everyone.